biodiversity a really important uh, issue. So look, we are, although we are a global city, we should be incredibly proud that we are quite green. Roughly speaking, 44% of our city is green, but we're going to be careful and never complacent because obviously there's a temptation to build on that green uh, land, whether it's Greenbelt, whether it's Mushbolt and open land. So we in London, since I became mayor, have satisfied the, the relevant authorities to become a national park city because we have policies to keep what we have and to green even more of our city, not just for biodiversity, really. Hang on, can, can we let the mayor answer the question, please? Not, please not, listen to him. Not just to keep what we have, but because it, because it leads to better biodiversity, but also better quality of life. And during the pandemic, one of the things that we all appreciated was the importance of you know good quality green spaces as well. So from City Hall, what we're doing is supporting communities green in their areas because it helps also to adapt our city towards the, the heat waves we had last summer to help our city when it comes to flush floods as uh, well. So we've got policies in our London plan to support local communities and local councils to make sure we keep what we have and get even more of our city that's green uh, as well. In relation to the second question from the gentleman at the back in Southall, who I think was complaining about the poor quality air in Southall and saying just tackling vehicles isn't enough. I agree. Uh, vehicles is the main source though of the poor quality air in our city. Other issues around construction are really important. Other issues in relation to the built environment are really important. So I'm now asked to ask Assembly Member Polanski from the Green Group to answer the question. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, my name's Zach Polanski, I'm from the Green Party and I chair the Environment Committee. Um, now, as a Green Party Assembly member, whenever I work with a mayor, I always look to work constructively with them. So I applaud him when he gets things right, but also expose gaps where there's things wrong. Now, the mayor's doing lots of good work around biodiversity and tackling the climate and nature emergency. But right here in Ealing, there's a very relevant uh, site, which is Warren Farm Nature Reserve. Now, of course, we have a Labour council in Ealing, and they need to hear the calls of campaigners very clearly. A third of London's skylarks breeding are on this site. Now, the point about skylarks is not just about those birds. They are what are known as a landmark species. So where there's la uh, skylarks, there's lots of other species too that need to be protected. Of course, it's not just about nature, though. This is about our mental health. It's about people's access to green space. Environmental justice links in with social justice too. And it's vital that the Ealing Council change their minds on this and protect that green space. Thank you. Thank you. So now, uh, briefly, this all links to a wider issue as well. Uh, with the mayor, I've been campaigning for something called a London Climate Panel. The mayor often uh, interacts with big climate groups and campaign groups, but sometimes groups like we've heard tonight don't always get a look in because they're not known about. I'd like to see the mayor set up a panel so the assembly members don't just amplify your voices, but your voices are heard in City Hall. And it's vital that people are paid for their time and labour, because if you expect people to volunteer their space for free, lots of people will be blocked out of this conversation. And just finally to the South Hall community, works. I know we've been doing work with the Ealing Group Greens around this. I'd love to come and visit because the pollution isn't acceptable and I'd love to have that conversation with you. Okay. Thank you. Assembly Member Bukhari. Uh, uh, thank you so much. I'm uh, Hina Bukhari, the Liberal Democrat uh, Assembly Member. I was standing outside this town hall last week where there were thousands of people from Ealing saying, save Warren Farm. It's about time that Ealing Council and the Mayor of London listens to you. People in Ealing want to save Warren Farm for an incredibly important reason. This is a really important open space that has taken 10 years of rewilding, beautiful area that needs to be saved. And the Ealing Liberal Democrats did bring this to the attention of Ealing Council and they are not listening. So it's about time that you were you are heard and you are being heard by us. We will make sure that you are heard on this particular matter. Now on uh, the other issues as well on you Liz, quite frankly it's not fit for purpose at the moment which is why the Liberal Democrats made sure that we are moving to ensure that you have got better transport links in outer London. And that's why we wanted to invest more 
from the mayor's budget on buses. Now, unfortunately, Labour Group voted against that. And that's simply the case. We have got a plan to make this work and it's not going to work without the support of Labour here. We also wanted to make sure that scrappage was invested in more and we need to make sure that this works for you. Again, Labour voted against that. We've all got to be united to make sure that air quality is dealt with and it can't be a, a party political approach. Everyone needs to work together. And I'm really, it's a real shame that Labour didn't support the Liberal Democrats on these two amendments. And I'm really pleased that the others did. And one last final point. It's such a shame that we're not talking about other things that we have to t deal with with air quality. There, are, there was a news broadcast just the, the other day about wood burning. There are so many things that we should be talking about when it comes to air quality and tackling that. And the Liberal Democrats are listening to you. So I'll make sure that I'll keep on campaigning for you. And let's make sure that we do save that beautiful Warren farm. Um,